Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie of Beauty Mind Spirit and I want to show you what I got in my Ipsy bag this month as well as my scent bird. But anyway, I got my Ipsy and I'm excited for this one because it feels kind of bulky so I feel like this is a little extra of something cool. Um, but you, it comes in this pink bag which I'm always excited to see every time I get it. Um, but I haven't even opened it up yet so I'm going to do that right now. What is this? This is amazing. So Michelle Fawn, she's one of the founders of Ipsy. She has her own makeup line and she's been like on YouTube for years doing makeup tutorials and I just, she's amazing. I think this is an actual shadow palette from her, which would be huge. I mean, that alone is well worth <laughs> way more than $10. So I'm going to open this up and it says, oh, hi dreamer. That's cute. I hope you're enjoying the holiday season with family and friends. I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for being a part of the Ipsy family for over three years. Here's a fun fact. Did you know you were one of the first to subscribe to the Glam Bag? I consider you one of the founding members of Ipsy. You shared this dream and you jumped in with your whole heart. I can't thank you enough for taking a leap of faith and joining me on this journey of beauty discovery. That is so sweet, Michelle. Thank you so much. I love Ipsy and I... I'm so glad that I can share it with people. So anyway, this is the makeup palette and it is called the Shade Play Artistic Eye Color Palette. And this is in the color Dublin Khakis. Wow. On the front, it has engraved beautiful, like, empowering words like emerge, emotion, embrace, empower, embody, esteem, embellish, and embark. That's really cool. Ooh. So it comes with like a couple little mini brushes just little tiny things. And then this beautiful eyeshadow palette. Wow. <gasps> Guess who's gonna have fun playing with this? I'll make a look with this, I think. I think you guys will like that, right? Sorry, I should probably hold it like this so you don't get blinded by the light. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is like a shimmery champagne color. Um, and then like this nice bronze. Ooh, the shadows are very creamy. Oh wow, super creamy, I love it. I'll, I'll play around with this for you guys so you can see it in action because I think this is, this is probably gonna be a really nice palette to play with. So yeah, see this alone makes membership well worth it, especially when you know that like you're cared about. This is such a great company, I just love what they did. So this is the bag that you get this month. It is red, perfect for holiday season. And inside you have your products that you have, you know, that they pick out for you. I got a shadow trio, some more eyeshadow. This is in the color Gilded. I'll open that up so you can see it. I have a conditioning treatment. See, I always feel that whenever I run out of things, it's almost like I hold back on purchasing them because a lot of times I'll get my Ipsy bag and I'll find, oh my gosh, like I need something like that. This is exactly what I needed. So this is a sulfate free conditioning treatment. I think this is just a, yeah, this is a hair mask. I needed a hair mask. Can't wait to, I can't wait to use that. I really need to deep condition my hair. The next thing is this Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer by Elizabeth Mott. Elizabeth Mott is a brand that I uh, got familiar with through Ipsy and literally everything that I've ever gotten from her in my bags have, have, been, have been amazing. Like they've just been great. So I'm actually really looking forward to this eyeshadow primer that she came out with. And then this one is from, oh, this is from Pacifica. Uh, I don't know, Pacifica is one of those brands that I just always get like, I just get sweet over. Like they just are such a great, great company. Um, always, you know, they create cruelty-free products. They're into natural products and things to that extent. So this is a lipstick in the color Nudie Red. I actually have one of these lipsticks in like a, a coral color. It's really nice. So I do like the formula of these. Um, but this is what it looks like. And this is the color. So it's like a mauve, I'd say. It's really smooth. That is this color in Nudie Red. And then the last product is actually, I'm really excited about this, but it's called Ricky Care 3D Blender. So it looks very similar to the actual beauty blender, but this one's blue. <laughs> I needed another one of these. So like I said, it's always like, it's so perfect. I just, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this eyeshadow that I got earlier and show you what it looks like. Got a like a bronze coppery shade, a medium to dark brown, and a golden champagne color. Um, the 
the pigmentation is, is okay, you would have to build it up, I can tell right off the bat. And it's a little powdery, so there's some flaking that's happening, but I think used wet, this color would be fantastic. This would be beautiful. There is that. So that's what I got in my Ipsy bag. Okay, so next up is Scentbird. So Scentbird comes in a black package and it says Scentbird New York on it. I already opened this one up. You always get a couple cards and then it always talks about the, they highlight a person every month, whether it's a YouTuber or another beauty writing blog person. This month was, uh, what's her name? Vintage or Tacky and her name is Cora. She's super cute. I love that photo. And then it highlights uh, the perfume that she chose for the month, which she ended up choosing Nest Indigo. And I actually do want to try this one. I've been eyeing this for a couple months now. So this is already in my queue, so I will get this next time. I should probably back up and explain. Scentbird is a perfume subscription service. You pay $15 a month. They kind of have this like perfume quiz that you can fill out and then it can select fragrances based on the profile that you fill out or you can actually go in and search for fragrances or pick out random ones to just try. I have also found that if I'm in a department store and I notice that there are some you know fragrances that smell good to me, I will go on my scent bird on my phone in the store and see if they have it so I can get like a nice um, size of the actual perfume without paying like 70 60 $70 or whatever it is, you know, so I love it. I love doing the service get a little container like this and inside is your scent that you had in your queue This is the Dior addict OD perfume and it comes in this size. I don't go through these very often so these uh, will last quite a while and these make really good gifts too. So if you find that a scent doesn't really suit you, you can also give them away for gifts. Um, this one sprayed this on me earlier today. I actually opened this up earlier, but I wanted to try it out. And I like I like how it wears throughout the day, but when I first spray it, I don't like it. <laughs> it's really weird. I like it later, but not right away. But this one smells kind of like powdery and sweet but it has a tinge of the old perfume scents that all of our grandmas or great grandmas used to wear, which is a very intense, like a very intense scent. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that is my Ipsy and Scentbird review. I hope you guys liked it. I will have links below if you wanted to check it out. So definitely click on the description box and I'll leave you links to where you can sign up and what this is all about if you're interested in it. Highly recommend. And that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you dearly. Happy holidays. I hope you're having a great time with your family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.